To the left, right? Yep. Thank you. I did, and there's the boss. Here, play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, I just got the new Candela Research motor test stand in the mail, and let's look at the new features that are on the new one. All right, first thing I noticed when it came in the mail was that the new one comes with a nicely uh, stained coating on it and uh, to protect the wood and protect the finish, so I really like that. In addition, it has some extra platforms that were added to the sides. I guess they're optional. You could leave them off if you wanted to. They have uh, holes in them right there for mounting whatever you want. I presume maybe the ESC could mount nicely there or maybe even the tachometer. Another thing is it has a lot of extra slots all around the uh, frame in different places. I think uh, Candela may have noticed in my first video I had the uh, ESC mounted here and I had a couple of holes drilled. So I drilled two holes right there and strapped on the ESC. Now they have basically four holes right here in about the same location on both sides. So that's that's very handy for if you want to mount ESC, battery, whatever you want to put right there. Okay, on the old one here I had my watt meter mounted right here and uh, I actually have some Velcro that I had it stuck to. In addition, I have a couple of straps here. Well, on the new model, they actually have four slots already in there. I had to drill these holes, but the new one has four slots, so that makes it very convenient to mount my tachometer right there and just strap it in. Let's put it right like that. I did have these holes a little spaced just a little more so it didn't cover the uh, display, but still no real issue. It could work. It also came uh, partially pre-assembled. This one had the main body was all pre-assembled and I just added these side plates here. And uh, yeah, that's, not, that's handy to have those, but I could have left them off and I think that's why they didn't have them glued on there. And uh, so all I had to really do was add the base plate and put the pivots on and put this screw in the front here and that pretty much did it. And this is an adjustable screw that they've got on here that screws into a socket underneath and it has a nut to lock it, to, uh, lock it down. Now if I wanted to take this motor off and put it on the other, all i got to do is take out these thumb screws Okay, once the thumb screws are removed, I can just disconnect the motor and take it out of there. Like that. And I could uh, then go ahead and use one of the three provided motor mounts to mount a different motor and put that on in its place. And uh, so the new one would work basically the same way. Here's the Here's the new one. In fact, I could probably take this same motor mount and put it on the new one. And I could just put the thumb screws back in and mount it right on there. Yeah, so the holes are in the same places, so I can just uh, go ahead and put the thumb screws right into the plate. And it goes in the same way as the other one. No problems. So here it is populated with all my components. And uh, as you know, I moved the motor mount over. And the platform, the optional platform here, made a nice little place to put the ESC right here and just uh, strap it right in with the provided slots. And the uh, slots they put up here with the provided strap made a good place for the battery. I guess that's what it was intended for. And I, I put my receiver over here. Uh, and use one of the platforms and the slots to strap that down. And the tachometer went back in the same place. I just velcroed it on the side right here. So that's the whole setup. And it's working right now. So there we go. It's all ready for testing. We're in the control room. John's going to ramp it up. Three. 
two, one, launch!